Alrighty guys, welcome back. Let's talk about user interface or user experience, UI and UA, UI and UE. For those who don't know what user interface means, it's really just like the first impression or learning curve of a human working with a computer or maybe even a display, like a human checking out new software for the first time. Think of it like restaurants, like some restaurants, uh, like I went to a restaurant called BJ's the other night and it had hundreds of items, hundreds of things, and it was almost impossible to find and figure out what you wanted to order. Then there's some restaurants like In-N-Out Hamburgers where there's literally three things to keep in mind and order and keep, them up and keep the line moving and flowing. Well, that menu's display is their user interface. Uh, every software has it iMovie is incredibly easy to navigate through and has a very quick learning curve. Adobe Premiere is more professional. It has a ton more going on and can easily confuse the newcomer. Well, QuickBooks Online it has a very awesome user interface. It's got a very it's got a very easy learning curve. The QuickBooks software, not the online version, but the $200 down but the $200 downloadable version has a much more difficult user interface. It's it's more for like medium to larger size businesses, but it takes a lot longer to learn. Okay, let's. Okay, enough of the ranting. Let's glance at the user interface and go over a few things to help us just get familiar with what's going on. We're not going to go into. We're not going to go into complete micro detail of what everything is, but we will as we progress through this playlist. Let's look at a few things. Okay, so. Here is our dashboard. This is our homepage. This is our meat and potatoes. We've got our profit and losses, our net income, expenses, invoices, money that we've collected, money we haven't collected, money in our bank accounts, uh, transactions that we need to sync, expenses that we need to sync that we're actually going to talk about in the next video. Over here, uh, banking, we have our bank accounts set up in here, sales, add customers, create invoices, expenses, customize your expenses. Obviously, different industries have different expenses. You can create your own here. If you're a construction company that does concrete, I would have a concrete expense in here. Employees, you can do it. You can do this with QuickBooks Online, but it is expensive. It's like $75 a month. Thank God I do not have any employees. Let's check it out. Maybe they're doing a promo. Yeah, it goes back into it. $80.74 a month. Uh, again, it's, if I had employees and stuff like that, I do not know if I would use QuickBooks online. I think I would just go to the QuickBooks pro desktop and just pay the $200 reports. Great way to show weekly, monthly, or yearly graphs of expenses, profit and losses, uh, balance sheets and such. Again, do not be overwhelmed by this stuff at the end of this playlist. You would clearly know what's going on and how to run your business with QuickBooks online tax. Taxes, again, this is a state thing and you only have to worry about it if you are selling products, not services. You can charge tax on services through certain loopholes. Did I say that right? Sales tax is for products, yes. Uh, but yeah, there is um, certain loopholes where you can charge sale ta sales tax for services, but we'll save that for later. Taxes change depending on the state and it seems like there's always loopholes and things changing like the cigarette tax in California almost tripled this year in California, 2017. Uh, thankfully years ago when I had my window cleaning business, I did not have to worry about this part. I did not charge sales tax accounting, uh, just takes you to the chart of accounts, which we will get into more later. My accountant, you can let your accountant or anybody know, or anybody that you trust, see your stuff, apps, um, connect your apps, other websites like PayPal or anything website or merchant services related. Over here, we've got, let's go back to dashboard. I always click on dashboard when I just wanna go back to the home. Customize your stuff. If you click on this logo button right here, it lets you do a lot more than just customize or, or upload your logo. We've got things over here, your billing subscriptions. If you wanna use QuickBooks Online as a merchant services, I think they take like 3% plus 25 per transaction. That's kind of the going rate. Um, you see a lot of businesses that now, a lot of mom and pop stuffs, they have like the iPad connected to something. Usually it's like square and they take about the same 3% plus 25 per transaction. So pay with cash. Anytime you go out to a mom and pop place or anywhere for that matter, pay with cash, save that business, that 3% because that adds up at the end of the year. Uh, sales expenses, you can, a lot of, a lot of uh, ways to customize your stuff, add the SKU numbers. Uh, we're going to create custom invoices and stuff like that as we go. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to click out of that, go to the right. 
let's look at the top right up here the plus sign click on it you can add invoices uh, create memos estimates receipts refunds all that stuff delayed charge kind of create your templates over here the things you're gonna send out send out your estimates send out your invoices send out your receipts that is good business uh, the search over here search customers by name transaction transaction numbers dates etc uh, definitely handy if you have a lot going on uh, the gear a lot of the same stuff we've already gone over just kind of a different way to look at it chart of accounts manage users let people in stuff like that tools over here import data budgeting audit log order checks and there's a question mark right here which is borderline worthless it's always got those stupid FAQ need support yeah but no one's gonna answer your phone call within a minute QuickBooks online and QuickBooks definitely has one of the worst customer services phone numbers I learned all this stuff by figuring it out by myself it was a lot of trial and error contact us for anyone I don't know how it is right now a couple of years ago if you did get through to somebody it was somebody who barely spoke English it was horrible um, and if you have an accountant that knows QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desk Desktop. Uh, it's good for them to know, but they are going to charge you. Whatever their going rate is, $150 an hour, $100 an hour, $200 an hour. Can you afford that? So that's kind of the gist, guys. That's it for this video. Um, that's kind of like the pulse of this whole software. We kind of just, what, what was this video, four or five minutes? We kind of just summed it all up. Good job so far. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section below. In the next video, we're going to talk about adding and syncing our transactions. So our bank accounts align with what we have in here in our QuickBooks Online. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you over there.